Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Marjorie Hash. Now our guest this week is Bastien Pico, aka Oris. He stems from the gorgeous Indian Ocean island of La Réunion and his music draws from tradition and blends polyphonic harmonies to kinky electro pop and it's absolutely divine and precious. His motto is let's be proud, free and untamable. Oris, thank you so much for coming on the France 24 thank music show. You. Beautiful attire. I'm going to have to get you to talk us through this look in just a minute. <laughs> but first, we can't avoid this. This is the news of uh, the start of this week. Uh, at the weekend, uh, France had its first round of voting in the, this year's presidential. It's the first round. And uh, Reunion Island, with the difference to mainland France, uh, had um, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, the far-left candidate, leading the polls there with 40%, and uh, incumbent President Emmanuel Macron only hitting 17%, while uh, far-right candidate Marine Le Pen got 27%. Were you surprised by this? And do you think with the amount of abstention that there is and in voting that people are disillusioned with politics in Reunion Islands? Well, I, <clears throat> I was uh, not really surprised because uh, five years ago, we kind of have had the same sense of things. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud that we, uh, we <laughs> voted for Mélenchon <laughs> yeah. uh, the most. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, well, I think I'm, I feel a little bit hungover because uh, it's mixed feelings, you know, with uh, all this. Um, um, but uh, yeah, um, I, 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 I wanted France to be uh, um, going in a different direction, but you know, that's just my opinion. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll wait and see. We'll, see. well, hopefully we can bring some beauty uh, with your music and inspire people. Sure. Um, we're going to talk about that now. You're currently on tour with your debut album, Chimera, and uh, that came out last September. And we're going to check out the video for your amazing track, Kuhu. Keep your head up. What an incredible track and video there. Now, Oris, I wanted to first of all talk, you to tell me about your look with this beautiful fascinator that you've got on, <laughs> the curls and everything. Where do you get such an inspiration from? Well, um, it's a headpiece create, created by Lia Seval, mm -hmm. um, which is a, a fashion designer that uh, I've been working with. Uh, uh, for a long time now and um, yeah it is uh, something that we discussed we shared ideas and she came up with this uh, unique piece that was uh, well made for me and I'm super glad because it sends um, I think the a message visually that uh, um, makes an echo with uh, my songs and uh, the messages that I want to Share it to the world. Yeah, now, I uh, saw that you've categorized yourself as a queer artist and you have a drag queen alter ego, uh, yeah. La, La Pionte, and uh, we saw in the video. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, yeah, on, on the the short clip that we've seen, mm -hmm. it's Kuhu. So mm -hmm. it talks about diversity. Mm -hmm. It talks about um, tolerance, of course. Um, and to me, it was the very... Uh, the perfect occasion to uh, just jump back into uh, uh, my... Uh, drag queen alter ego mm -hmm. uh, La Pionte her name is is uh, it, it comes from a joke because actually we were you know brainstorming about yeah I don't know I don't have a name for her mm -hmm. and uh, it, a, a Pionte mm -hmm. in Reunion Island is uh, somebody that likes to show off a little and uh, so it's a contraction between uh a piont and Beyonce <laughs> and Very we nice. laughed we laughed about it and so yeah uh, to me it was really important on this uh, music video to uh, be surrounded by um, many LGBTQI uh, um, persons and mm -hmm. personalities and artists from Reunion Island mm -hmm. to spread this message. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because what is it like over there? What's the scene like? And also what's the music scenes like? You've got very different uh, music scenes coming in this insular island. You know? Sure, sure. Um, I mean, the traditional music is Maloya, but uh, then you got a little a little bit of every you know kind of genre that, that is represented. Um, but I'm often, um, I'm often um, talked about as a 
a UFO, you know, <laughs> <laughs> sort of musically Don't fit because anywhere. I'm, yeah, my, I'm in between, you know, um, in between genres and, uh, and uh, yeah, and this, I, I think in Reunion Island we have this really um, strong uh, thing that we call le- the Vivre Ensemble, which is living together, mm-hmm. um, and it's really true. We're kind of like an advance as far as ethnicity is concerned. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think there is still a lot of work to do as far as um, gender and um, uh, sexual orientation is Mm. concerned. So, Mm. And I noticed that you sing in French, English and Creole. Uh, Is that correct? Does your personality change depending on the language you sing in? Or do you sing for certain, (laughs) you know? Well, no, I'm not schizophrenic. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, yeah, I love to, to, um, to write in English and in Creole. And actually, I find that the two, those two languages just dialogue well together. They respond well. And um, I don't really see a gap, mm-hmm. um, you know, between when I sing English and, and Creole. Mm-hmm. That's why within one song, I can switch from one to the other. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you've been able to tour France quite a bit in recent times. Uh, and I'm curious as to uh, how does it feel for you, you know, when you come from the Reunion Islands to get this sort of exposure, you know, in other parts of the world? Do you find it's difficult to get your, your music to it? Or is it easier now with the internet? You know, what's the... What's the feeling as an artist? Well, I think it is somehow easier with the internet, but uh, you know, due to the pandemic, we had a lot of um, um, gigs uh, cancelled. Cancelled, and so um, yeah. Hopefully, I'm gonna go uh, touring in uh, Africa uh, in May. Ooh, okay. Then Cabo Verde in June, and I'll come back to France as well in uh, June and July. So. Mm. And I've heard amazing things about your live shows. Do you turn into different characters on stage? You know, do you, do you bring back uh, La Pionte? No. Do you, no. Now Pionte is put away in the cupboard. <laughs> so it's just your fabulous self right now yeah it's um as i am Horus. so this is where what i wear on stage Mm -hmm. and um yeah it's i mean it's a it's a journey Mm -hmm. on stage throughout the songs of the album and throughout different kind of emotions there is something really dynamic with uh you know a sense of rhythm Mm -hmm. and uh tribal percussions Mm. um but there's also uh, and a more atmospheric, um, you know, airy mm-hmm. uh, songs and ballads. So, yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. Well, you were talking about a tour in Africa. How about we check out some other new releases? And one is actually from uh, Nigeria, uh, which is uh, from producer turned singer uh, Feels. His music has been going viral, especially on TikTok. Thanks to that, he has uh, hit the big time charts and he's even signed an international uh, record deal with Warner UK. Let's check out uh, his ear. Where I mean track that celebrates the happy go lucky lifestyle. Feels there, one to follow and one to watch. Um, now, Oris, I have a quick question. I went to ask you, why are you called Oris? Well, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, I've always been fascinated with uh, mythology and, um, you know, Oris, the god Oris. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's not spelled the same because I'm not pretending to be an Egyptian god. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the eye of Oris is a symbol for intuition. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of like the third eye. And... Um, it depicts this this uh, sense of uh, seeing things uh, um, that are not material, you know, mm-hmm. seeing things that don't appear to the eye. And to me, music is uh, is this thing because we give something, we receive something, um, but it's not palpable. It's not you know you can you can mm-hmm. touch this. And uh, there are many symbols I could go on because there are so <laughs> many symbols around the eye of Horus mm-hmm. that just um, Resonate with you. It resonated with me. So yeah. at some point it was like, you know, well, obvious. <laughs> no, it, sounds, it makes sense. And also like all mythologies around the world have had this, including in Ireland, which is where we're going to go right now, Let's with uh, the Dublin punks, Fountains DCs, who have just released their third album, Skinty Fia, full of gnarly guitar riffs and their rather unique accents. 
but that jealous joy I probably am that soy I see you 20 Marys later When your tongue is talking straighter You took a mile down to the mercenary bar I heard you broke up with a fella Now he's drinking in his car Nah, I'm not inclined to watch a scandalous word But on the subject of myself I do believe what I heard Nice wee Dublin accent there. Fountains DC, who are currently wrapping up their sold out French tour and are set to head off to North America for some live shows. Well, I'm afraid uh, Encore's music show is coming to an end. Oris, thank you so much for coming on to the France 24 studio with me. It's been an absolute thank pleasure you chatting me. to you. <laughs> and, and just to remind our uh, viewers that you're currently touring France and your album Chimera is one I highly recommend. Now, the latest news bulletin is coming up, which leaves me just enough time to remind you that all our culture news is available on our website, france24.com. And of course, do follow us on social media Media, Encore F24. We're going to be playing out with French electro queen Miss Kitten, who's back with her legendary pal and collaborator, The Hacker. Nearly 14 years after their last record, they've soberly entitled their new offering, Third Album. Let's check out the track for some Berlin Paris Electro Joy. <laughs> 